Hello, Ben. Hello, Jeff. Hello. It's time for Trackmania. Oh, boy. Is it really? It is really time for Trackmania. Uh, it's, I know you've been playing it, and so it's time for the official, real, and live quick look of Trackmania. Um, it's an honor to be here for the official, real, and live quick look of Trackmania, Jeff. Yeah, uh, it, it, it is. You're right. It is for both for both of us, really. And um, so, I have a lot of thoughts about Trackmania. I've played a lot of Trackmania over the last two or three generations of Trackmania, I guess I would say. Um, and uh, so, I have like a lot of highly specific thoughts about it. But like, what's your? I know you've been playing some of this. Is this like your first Trackmania or? Yeah, I dabbled. I think you left it open before a UPF one time, and I like raced a few tracks just to just to feel it. Uh -huh. And I went like, okay, okay, cool. Um, and then I never, yeah, I've never bought a Trackmania game. I'm I'm excited to be here though. This sounds like a, a decent one to get in on. Yeah, it's it is. It's it's a it's a good game, and then all the stuff around it from like the the different levels of payment you can give them for different features. To uh, really, it's the UI. Honestly, the you want to talk about eighty five percent of my problems with Trackmania. Um, it is that the I'm gonna turn the game volume down a little bit here. Um, the the big issue is, is that this UI is awful. Yeah. Uh, it, and and like so so for me as someone who's played a lot of other Trackmania, I'm able to kind of look at this and parse out what it sort of means in old Trackmania speak, uh, and and kind of figure out like where wh what they've done. But like the game used to just have a server browser like a proper video game. Right. And it, it doesn't have that anymore. And, and it used to have customizable horns. Like, at, at launch, even, this profile um, page here used to have a... Uh, well, I mean, it still has an out, allow unlimited horns button you can't actually check. Which I, I don't... It, mm. <laughs> what? It's like I click on it, and it will not fill in. Um, but also... I was honestly scared to dig deep into these menus too much um, that I, I'm afraid. Yeah, it's, um, yeah. So at, at, at launch, it actually had a toggle in there, or it had, had some of the stuff from old Trackmania in there, like custom horns. Uh, you used to be able to customize your horn. And last night I was digging through the files in the Trackmania directory, and all of those old horns are still there. It downloaded those hordes to my hard drive, but I can't use them. And it's, huh. it's ridiculous. It's, it's, so it, it, to me, it feels like this game was delayed once and it, it feels like something where they just like near the end must have, must have, I, I'm guessing, but they just like said like, hey, fuck it. Um, gray out all these options and we're gonna launch this game and we'll get to it later <laughs> or something. Cause it, it just has <sighs> this rushed, I, everything on the front end, the UI, like all the stuff, like it, it, it just, it just it's bizarre um they took out profile pictures they took out you know th there's a lot of just weird stuff around the edges where you're just like man this game used to have all this other stuff and it doesn't now and it's weird um, it was so bad that um i even with you talking about how it was like when, when you kind of were getting in here early just like going off about the menus and stuff i'm like well how how awful could it be? And then I got here and I was like, okay, I know that clubs is a thing that is linked to trying to get tracks maybe. And I, I, I'm still not sure. I, I'm still not sure, Jeff. Yeah. Um, and and clubs are also, cl so clubs are also the thing that are uh, only available at the highest tier of you buying the game. Oh. Uh, which is like, uh, it's 30 bucks a year, $60 for three. Uh, and then the, Standard edition is ten dollars a year, and they also have a free tier. That's really is a demo. You know, you, you you can't really do a lot of the stuff that uh, that you would theoretically want to do in a Trackmania game at, at that tier. Um, so it, it's really it's really just kind of a demo, uh, and that's I'm not going to make that jump. 
Um, and so the, bas the, the basic split there is that uh, if you want to customize things, if you want to be in a club and run a server and you want to build things uh, like that, you want to be in the club tier. You want the expensive version of the game. Uh, if you just want to drive and play the game and you don't care about things like skins on your car, um, which is a weird one to put behind the high-end paywall, uh, you, you can't reskin your car unless you're paying them the, the full amount. Um, uh, the, the standard edition, the $10 one, is, is actually fine. And a lot of... There's been a lot of talk about the way they're charging for it and the way they're kind of positioning it as a, as a subscription thing. And I would say, generally, I think that what the amount of money they're charging for a game that they are theoretically going to be updating once a quarter, once every three months with new maps and all that other stuff... I think that $10 price is fine, and I think even the $60 for three years, like $20 a year type thing, is also fine. Um, but the way they, they broke some of the stuff out, I, th I think, is, is feels weird. Um, so uh, another issue, uh, if you're ready to talk about it, um, that I had getting into this being my first Trackmania is... Uh, there is a tutorial, in a sense, where there is a series of tracks that start very basic and kind of roll out the basic. Here's like an ice track, here's a mud track, and, and you know, yeah. kind of lays those out, but then doesn't have any additional information beyond that. Like, here's what you need to do in this scenario. Like, maybe right. a little video, or like a ghost you could follow, or, or anything that I was... I felt like, I don't know, a lot of video games these days are very handholdy to a fault, maybe yeah. some might say, right. but this is kind of the opposite. Yeah, and I think that stuff could be better. I, I guess like the, the thing I'll underscore here before we get too much into it is I fucking love this game. <laughs> yeah. Um, I play it every damn day uh, since, since, they, like, since about a week before release, I've been playing it every single day and uh, I'm having a great time with it. Uh, playing it, you know, th th there are aspects of it, um, of, of the UI and, and some of the stuff that's like, it's a lot of head scratchers, it's a lot of stuff that you look at and go like, man, this needs to improve. Um, and I hope that they get there with it. But looking at it today, looking at it right now, that stuff's a bummer and also it, it's really confusing for new players. Um, so I think that that's, what you're talking about is exactly right. Like the, the training stuff here, there's no text that says, I'm trying to find the one. They kind of walk you through different things, but they, they don't really hold your hand. Um, and so you're left to kind of play these tracks over and over again to try to figure out what you're meant to infer from it. So like, here's a case of like, if I drive over this slow motion block, guess what? I drive in slow motion and that's not gonna be conducive for a good time. Uh, so in this case, the right thing to do is go around. You know, they've provided this out lane here uh, for me to go around. And this one's unavoidable, but then it becomes like, okay, is it faster for me to uh, to hit on this second choice that I have here, which I'll just, I'll drive over here and stop so you can get a look at it. Um, there's, on the left side, there's a speed boost. On the right side, there's a reset. And reset will take me out of the slow motion. Whereas boost will not take me out of slow motion, but it will make me go theoretically faster. Right, and just b at the very top level, an outside track is always going to be a little slower than an inside track. Sure, so yeah. That too. Yeah, and, and so the, the thing it's trying to teach you there is like, you don't go for the boost because you're still going to be in slow motion and you're still going to go really slow. A reset getting you out of the slow motion is the right way to do this. Right. And the boost doesn't override the exactly. Slow yes. Uh, and and so there's stuff like that. There's stuff like whereas if there was just a tooltip at the start of that race that yes. says like boost or you know a second yes. status effect does not override a first one. Yeah. Th there's a yes. A, a little bit of text, one or two sentences per training course that said what they're trying to show you would be huge. Because here's another case of like. Okay, we've got to figure out... I don't even know where we need to go here. We've got a turbo, and we can take this turbo up and not really Which get I anywhere. I did the first time on yeah. this. Um, but what you actually want to do is go over this other side here and hit the boost down. Uh, this is one of the things that's new for this track mania. It's the notion of jet boosters that can either boost you up or boost you down to stick you to the ground. 
um, a little bit more. You know, it's not, you know, it, you know, it's not like a magnet like you saw. I was boosting down, but I still got air off of this here. Um, and so. And there's some, there's some of these that I finished and I feel like I didn't learn the lesson because I just happened to do it right yep. on the first time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's definitely a thing, too. Um, and, and, you know, because even there, like, I improved my time quite a bit because I, I, you know, now after having played the game a lot, I know that, like, oh, well, I don't want to catch as much air as possible off of this. I kind of want to get back down to the ground uh, to get more speed. And that time I, I was too... Uh, too harsh on cutting my acceleration. And so those are things like you learn from from trial and error, which is, is fine. That's not end of the world type stuff. I just look at it as a case of like, that's a real missed opportunity in terms of like, hey, you could really find ways to get more people into this game if you yes. just like met them a little more halfway on some things, I guess. Especially considering how rough some of the other aspects of navigation and discovery are in the game. Like yeah, it's just yeah. another another thing that can turn off players. Totally, you know? yeah, and, and and so I just I think that a lot of that stuff should be should be better. Um, but a lot of that is just like, hey, it, it's presentation. Uh, it, it's uh, it, it's it's you know menus. It, it all a lot of it comes back to UI to UX user experience, like stuff like that. Uh, that that just if it was better, I think uh, more people would have a better time um, for it. And so, yeah, they, they even have, like, stuff in here that says, like, hey, here are, the, here are the tiers of the game. And so I'm on club tier here. And so I believe that's, like, th what is that? That's $30 for one year or 60 for three. Uh, standard is the $10 a year one. And then starter is the free one. Um, and, you know, your, your, your online options are pretty limited in the free version, which is kind of how they've handled free versions in the past. Um, but... Uh, you know, th th that's a that's a, a, a they they put that out as a very unsightly list of checkboxes for every menu option in the game. That like if you've played the games, that starts to make sense. But like they they weren't super clear about some of that stuff too. Um, but as far as like offline content that the game kind of comes with, um, you know, they've got quarterly campaigns. They've got this summer campaign here, twenty five tracks. So every three months or so, they will put out another twenty five tracks, and they will do some leaderboard reset stuff at that time as well. And you can get pretty granular with your rankings here. Uh, they like to put you, they kind of liken it to an, an Olympics style presentation, um, how they kind of treat the uh, nations as this, you know, this is a this is a remake of a game known as Trackmania Nations. And so they're very big about like, right. where are you from? What do your local leaderboards look like? So in California, here's where I am, but we can step it up to the US and to North America and then world. And get a sense of like, man, I'm I'm not really good at I'm in the top million. Which doesn't hey, seem like a great place to be. Jeff, now that we're like 15, 20 minutes into this quick look, I have a question. Okay. Um, is the name of this game Trackmania? The name of this game is Trackmania. Okay, good. Thank you for clarifying that. Because even the image for it on the Uplay thing is like track media with a bunch of weird symbols and i didn't know if i'm supposed to be able to read that no i think that's just a t and an m i think that's just okay. the track media logo but uh okay. but people refer to it as track mania 2020 because it's a remake because uh, there's right. already been games called just track media um and uh so yeah uh so yeah they've, they've got their own tracks in here uh you can earn up to four uh medals on each track the gold, uh, bronze silver gold and then author Wait, um there's a fourth There's medal? a secret fourth medal. What? I know. I know. Fuck, man. I know. Um, and so, you know, uh, on these tracks, it's actually, I think, th this is uh, maybe a great place to show kind of what they've done with ghosts and leaderboard times and a lot of stuff like that. Um, I think they've done better at this time out at bringing the feeling of multiplayer to the single player stuff. Um, so you see, I, I get some options here um, in terms of like people that are on my friends list. Um, I don't know what followers actually means. Um, I don't know. It's just like people that are in clubs that I'm in. I'm not sure. Uh, That'd be weird. And then you can also just go like, okay, get me people that are around my rank on the leaderboard so I can see kind of similar times. Um, 
uh, to, to mine. But actually, That's I think cool. followers in, in this case might actually result in the most ridiculous looking run here. So we're going to hit this. It'll load in a whole bunch of ghosts. And I'll take some time here and think about it as it's just stuttering and loading in a billion different ghosts. Like, uh, what the fuck? How do you expect me to do this? Yeah. Uh, and then... And then we'll go. Oh god, I already screwed up. Look at all those ghosts beating me. Oh my god. As I fall to my doom. If you reset through the ghost reset? Yeah. Oh. Okay, here's a very basic question. I screwed have not tracked me anymore. Okay. Um the like green there on the side of the track, uh is it like sometimes there's green, sometimes there's gray. Is that stuff ever gonna slow me down? Like how do I know what the track is versus something that's like non-optimal to be on? It, it usually, if it's, if it's not, um, there are really kind of three track surfaces that we have the the road here. This is like a dirt, so you you slide a little differently on the dirt. Um, this is really cool, by the way. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> there's ice, um, which is a supreme pain in the ass. Oh, the ice is, sucks. Yeah. It's the worst. They should, uh, they should uh, really abolish ice. I mean, it's just ridiculous. Oops, I flew over the... Okay, I see. I, I screwed up there and flew over... I didn't make it to the top finish and didn't make it to the bottom either. So we get to start over. Um, and so, in a sense, with the way the training is built, in some ways, this entire game is built on the notion of trial and error. You know, you're yeah. you're kind of sight-reading a course for the first time. You're not sure where any of the turns are. Uh, and stuff like that. So you're kind of left to puzzle it out for yourself a little bit. Okay, we've, we've really fucked this up. We're now flying to our doom. Uh, we, and and now we we go again. So you're, you're kind of treating it a bit like a speed run. Um, you know, you're you're figuring out for the first time, you're like, okay, what is this track at all? Like, what what is this corner here? I gotta go on this wall. I gotta, I gotta go around this dirt, make it through here boost through this area, make it over around this corner uh, without flying over the edge, like, and then pull it down, and then I screw that up, and now we get to start over. But once you get it down, and you're like, okay, now I have set a time for this course, then it becomes like, how do I optimize? Like, okay, where did right. I screw up? Uh, what you start to pinpoint the, the spots that you can, like, okay, I can take that turn yeah. a little bit tighter, I can... And having the, ghosts, jump having, having the ghosts there is what makes that really fun and and having being able to see when the ghosts break what you can see like on the track the skid marks which i thought was really yes. cool and helpful yeah uh it, that helps you line up like certain ramps and jumps and stuff you you really it, that stuff's really key um and it's just fun uh and this is too probably too many ghosts to be useful like i think when you when you pick like the opponents from california or whatever it's really only going to pull in like maybe 10 ghosts at the maximum. Um, but uh, but the the ghosts, like seeing what ghosts do, seeing like, oh, they they cut through the grass here. Like there's, actually, actually this isn't even, we can go back to the first course of this campaign and see if I can show you how I take this first track. Um, and, uh, Let's see how it goes. Oh, more VIPs. Is that... Okay. All right. That makes sense. Okay. Let's do opponents from California. And so the thing I like to do here, which I'm definitely not going to be able to do the first try uh, here, um, I'm going to screw it up, is I like to cut through right here. And then you kind of cut over the grass oh. there a little bit. And then here, you kind of go through here. Is there any way to see, like, the top performer's ghost? Um, so I think... Uh, so what we can do here is I think I can do... Let's see. I think now that I've gotten a... It's either gold or author time. I can, um, I can go through here and actually pick ghosts. Oh, yeah. And add Look them. Um, and I assume they're in here somewhere. 
Okay, so see, yeah, see what they did. Look, they cut at the last minute. Oh, they cut through the, even that earlier set of trees, but yeah. they're not even making this turn until they absolutely have to. They're like, only turn when you must, because if you're turning, you're not accelerating, or, or right. maybe not accelerating as much. So I think the... And they're also not catching any air there. Ugh. And I don't know how they're doing that, but they're doing that. Yeah. Are they, like, slightly tapping the brakes for a second right before the... Probably not. I, I feel like... Oh, yeah, you would see the skids. And, and, and really, they never want to... You never want to hit the brakes in this game. <laughs> in a lot of cases. Um... So, okay, they're, they're going... Through, oh, jeez, I can't even line up that tree. Uh, there are definitely tracks where you have to break. I don't, I don't mean to imply that this is just like, you know, straight-up arcade racing, never break, but a big feature of the game, a big style of track that a lot of online players like is called Full Speed, and that's a track where you, you know, the optimal line is never going to require you to hit brakes. Oh. Um... See, I, I'm catching air. That's not optimal. Though the other thing they don't teach you is actually you do have control of the car in the air a little bit. Um, if I'm if I'm like uh, pivoting a certain way on my, if my nose is like, is like pivoting up off of a jump, I can tap the brakes to stop that pivot. I don't know if you can see that as I'm doing it um, here, but like watch the car a little bit. It's going and then it stops. It like level, oh, yeah. levels out. That's me tapping the brake to do that. Um, so you can kind of uh, set up tight, you know, appropriate landings in, in that way. Um, but also, you go further if you hold the gas in the air. If you hit the brakes in the air, you will land sooner. So, uh, so like that's uh, another consideration. Oh my god. Um, and that's something that, like, uh, that's, you know, like we talk about with training and some of that other stuff, like, that's something that is, is like, kind of some core-ass track mania stuff, but, boy, if they just kind of put that in there, um, and said, hey, by the way, uh, here's a training track built around you doing this, and we're gonna tell you exactly how it works, and show you a thing or two, I think that would be good. Yeah, uh, I think so, too. Yeah. Especially because, like I said earlier, with that one, I think with the air mobility ones in there in general, I just kind of like, like, well, I'm going to just hold accelerate and kind of figure this out. And I got a goal on my first try. I was like, okay, it doesn't seem that hard. But as I started playing real tracks, I'm like, okay, there's a lot more subtlety to this than I expected. Right. Uh, yeah, they're, they're definitely... Yeah, it, there is. And, and a lot of players, you know, this game does have an eSports following. And... Uh, as far as I know, a lot of the the big players in that scene still play with a keyboard. Really? Yeah. Um, I think that some tracks really benefit from analog steering and just being able to kind of smoothly steer around something is is actually pretty good. Um, but yeah, a lot of people like to just tap out, tap out stuff on a keyboard and play that way, which is uh, nuts. It's nuts. Um. But trials, you know, a lot of people played trials with the keyboard. This game, not not entirely unlike trials. I think there's a lot of shared DNA. It makes sense in a weird way that Ubisoft bought both developers, but <laughs> I, I feel like they never quite have found a way to really bring Trackmania to the masses. Uh, trials, maybe they've done a little bit better job with uh, getting that stuff out there. I guess I don't I don't know. Um, so let's see here. Uh, User created tracks. It's got a built-in track editor over here, um, and user created tracks will be picked for the track of the day, and uh, that's a different track every single day and a different leaderboard every single day. The leaderboard closes uh, at the at the end of the day, but you can still go back and get medals on those tracks if you want, um, and uh, that's pretty cool. They have uh, what they call the map review servers over here where. If you get online and try out people's tracks, and if enough, enough people like the tracks, maybe they get picked for track of the day. It's kind of a neat feature. I feel like that's. Do you be get an, anything as a creator for something that gets featured as track of the day? I don't. I don't know. Um, I don't think so, but uh, but I'm not actually sure. the The ranking system, uh, the, the trophies and stuff that you earn for playing, I think they just rebalanced it today, and it's uh, kind of 
crazy. Uh, in past games, they had fake currencies like planets and coppers that maybe they could have just said, like, you get a million planets for picking for making the track of the day. You know, there's, like, stuff they right. could have done around that. Um, so, the, also, you can take these user-created tracks and uh, collate them into a campaign. So I can I can pull together other people's tracks. I can download them from, from separate websites. There's no great way to do this. There's no smooth way to do this all in-game. Uh... Trackmania.exchange is a really great community website that's uh, existed in different forms for years and years and years uh, for user-created tracks, and it's uh, still relevant today, which that's another one of those things you look at and you're like, man, that, that's stuff that you would have thought they would have just built into the game eventually, but uh, but here we are. Um, but maybe they thought, these people are doing it. They can just keep doing it. it you know, you're, it's, you're, not, you're not wrong. Um, I get it. You got other stuff you got to work on. <laughs> um and so we can get in and see, you know, these different kind of user-created uh, maps and, and play them as if they were the summer campaign, you know, just play them alone, um, but with ghosts. Like, all that ghost stuff that we saw on the official tracks, all that stuff comes in here, too. And uh, and that makes that, that work, I, I think, you know, having the ability to just kind of play against um, the leaderboards this effectively... Uh, makes this viable. If this was just like me alone with no easy way to figure out like, okay, how do I get better at this? Um, I probably wouldn't spend much time doing this, but I've actually spent quite a bit of time um, playing the, the offline stuff. Oh, well, they screwed that up. Another thing they patched in is this, uh, so this is Cam 3, the first person camera. Um, they, they, uh, let's see. Uh, they, well, let me get back into that camera. Is that just, do I hit, no, I hit number, oh, wait, okay, there we go. Um, so this is how it was in old games, was that it's just purely first person, um, and they added old to this, whereas before it, uh, it was this. Oh, jeez. And a lot of, I actually think this is fine, but a lot of, uh, a, a lot of players that, that like that old style first person camera were not happy with this and so they quickly patched in uh the the old one um without the car at all and uh oh wait no i, I super don't want to be in that camera uh, i actually yeah i think i do prefer the newer yeah i, I think it, i think it looks better i think it's it's fun it, it, it shows you know you, you're the little lights there by your front wheels that show yep. that show up when you brake, those show up there too, and um, and yeah, custom skins on the cars. Yep, uh, custom skins on the cars. Uh, that's I, something. I loaded up the browser and immediately saw one of the top things was lewd skins. Yep, hell yeah. Um, and this is something that could really benefit from a search. Um, oh, is there just no search? So there is a search, but it searched for the name of... So you basically create a pocket in your club and say this is where the skins live, and you can name it whatever you want. The default, as you can see, is skins. And you see all these different... So we'll click into these and see if there is anything there. Uh, it's also worth noting this is a very international game, so you're yeah. going to get a lot of like foreign language names for skin. Yeah, yeah, you'll you'll get some some stuff like that. So here's just stadium test skin in a club in a in a room called Skins, and so all you can really search for are these names. Uh, so I can type in Skins, <laughs> uh, and if if someone has put a cool skin in a thing that is just called Skins, I don't think it's going to show up in the search uh i can and even the search box sucks uh so let's try uh, uh oh, that's and then i think i have to click outside the box for it to actually process the search because return doesn't do it and then we can get in here and see uh these tremendous skins yep uh yeah different versions of the you know Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. The famous anime skin. Yeah, everyone loves it. Uh, and then to clear that search, I think I have to go back here and then click outside the box again, and then it's back. Uh, so the search stuff, uh, that search exists on the, like, hey, I want to search for uh, a club room, which is like an online server, or a solo campaign. Like, that search persists there, and all of it um, sucks. <laughs> sucks. Um, yeah. 
especially in the case of skins where you're like, man, I would like to search by the name of the skin. Or in the case of a, like a, I'd like to search for maps. Like it'd be great if I could have like a map search or something that said like, hey, here's the most played user created maps over the last two weeks or um, the newest maps or, you know, like, like stuff like that that just like, it's crazy that it doesn't exist. And also that they took out the, some of the ways that they made server browsing easier before, um, it's, it's, it's really wild. So I've been going with this, I've seen this skin a lot around. It's a Wipeout themed skin. Uh, and I've been using that uh, that one quite a bit. Um, yeah, it's, it's a shame for a game that's so rich in customization to have almost no discoverability options for the things that people are creating. Yeah, it, it's, it sucks. Um, and so I, I tried making a skin. It's bad. Uh, it's, oh, you know, we, we'll get into the, we'll get into file formats and stuff like that a little bit later. How about that? Um, cause that's, I can't wait. Oh, because that's I could. Mm, I spent an hour last night banging my head against DDS files. Everyone's favorite image format. Every user, every very good user side. Oh my. Mm, okay. I've edited a lot of images, and I've never even heard of a DDS. It's like a, it's a texture. Okay. Si it's a text. It's like a texture format. It's like they didn't build in a thing that that takes a JPEG and converts it into the format the game can use. They need you to use that format by default cool. or something. Cool. Yeah. It's Human the, Fall Flat, a game made by I think one or two people can do that. Yeah. It's uh, yeah. So actually, I can I can show you an example of that uh, at the club customization level here. Um, what is this? Is this on this? No, that's on. Uh, this one. Um, so, <laughs> you know, you have images you can upload for, that are used in different ways. And so, uh, this, this image needs to be 256 by 256. It needs to be a ping JPEG or DDS specifically in the DXT five, uh, compression format. Okay. Um, yeah. And, and I spent enough time last night to where now I know what that means. Um, these ones can only be DDS files apparently. Uh, and, and it, it's just, so at least they put that text there in the skin editor when you're trying to figure out how to make a sticker that you can then mm. use on a mm -hmm. car. They I tried do, doing that. They do not tell you that those files need to be specific formats. I think they could be Targa's TGA files. Remember Targa's? I do remember a Targa. Yeah, I think they might be able to I've be never Targa's. heard it pronounced like that. Um, uh, yeah, uh, that's, that's what TGA stands for. Oh. And... It, it's uh, and in some cases pings work as well. It, it's just it's a, uh, but they don't tell you. There's no documentation uh, to that to that end for the the skin editor. All right. Um, let's see here. Let's go into map review real quick. I want to see some new maps. Yeah, these are the rising stars. Yeah. Uh, so if you have a map that you want to test it, you can put it here and it'll tell you like, hey, we can guarantee that your map will come up within 21 minutes. But well, we're going to test other people's maps. Yeah. Targas. Um, Mm. See, I had to hit the brakes there in the air to... Oh, should I, but I shouldn't have hit the brakes there. Um, so the other thing they added to, to this game is that now when you restart from a, a mid-race checkpoint, it actually... Oh, well, I didn't hit one there. <laughs> so that's, I guess I can't actually show you that. Um, it used to be that it just started you at a full stop at the, whatever checkpoint you passed last, which is uh, for some of these tracks that require you to have momentum that you never lose throughout the entire track. Um, basically means that those checkpoints are useless because you need to do the whole track in one run. Uh, now, uh, by doing that, uh, by, by changing it, oh god, they have made it so you basically start a few seconds before you hit the checkpoint and it kind of ghosts you through it um, at full speed or at whatever speed you hit the checkpoint at originally. And, uh, oh, that, mm. All right, we landed. 
uh, and it makes that viable. This track, I don't, I don't, I'm not a fan. Seems a little, um, seems like it's just missing something, you know? Yeah. Or maybe it's too much. I, I can't figure it out. So I'll I restart at the checkpoint. The just, just, yeah. Exactly. So I'll, I'll, here's the checkpoint. So you see it, it kind of lets me come through with whatever momentum I had before. So if I mess up up here and I'm like, ugh, I can just do that really quick. It still counts the time that I wasted, so it's still not a great way to get a good time on a track. Um, but it at least lets you kind of figure out, like, what am I doing wrong at this jump? Oh, I need to go over there. Okay. Well, we finished ninth. Now we're in tenth. Someone already beat us. Twelfth. Oh, damn it. So is it going to prompt you at the end? Like, do yeah. you like this? Thumbs up, thumbs down? Or? Yes, exactly. It, it, it's a five-star uh, five ranking system. Uh, but if you don't like... So if you like your checkpoint, but don't like the momentum you had going through it, you can double tap the respawn button to start at a standstill which is uh which is kind of cool we got a trophy this is the online ranking or the the leaderboard the the larger rankings are built around that eh, i don't it's not the worst track i've ever played but i'm not a, i'm not a huge fan this server will split for less waiting time and so that's kind of one of the other new things they've done this time is this concept of, uh, like, they are, they are hosting a lot of servers. In the past, every online server in the game had to be um, a player-hosted server. Um, and they've now made it. So th this is another one of those things when I look at, like, what they're charging for the club tier and some of the other stuff they're doing starts to make a little bit more sense is that they host a lot of servers themselves. Like, if I'm in the, in, if I'm in the club tier... I could spin up a, one of their servers right now with whatever user-created maps I want on it. I can build a campaign as I see fit, and other players can play it, um, and it just works. The catch is that it looks like this. It's not um, its not the full dedicated server experience that you get with, uh, with that you can get with Trackmania. Uh, meaning that there are mods for dedicated servers out there uh, that enhance the experience uh, that you do not get on any of these Ubisoft hosted servers. And so I think for a lot of players that'll be fine um, if they just want to hear this music over and over again or honestly eventually turn the music down and just listen to this is a great game for like podcasts or just listening to other music totally. or, or, or whatever like it's, it's a it's a tremendous kind of end of the day uh, relax kind of game. Um, and so the last thing I know about Trackmania, and I feel like I know this because of GiantBomb.com, is the, let's say, passion around um, having awful music in the rotation on your server. Def that, define awful. Sorry. Um, the best possible custom music available uh, on servers. Is that something you can do in Trackmania 2020? Yes. Uh, so if you want, if you so desire, you can download the binaries to run a dedicated server. And uh, that's another thing that they don't really, there's no distinction here. Um, on the, These are all servers. We don't know which ones are run by uh, Ubisoft and are thus like the default ones or which ones are dedicated. In some cases, like this one says Pi Planet on it, so you know that it's probably running Pi Planet, which is one of the um, mods, one of the server controllers, basically. Let's try that one out. And so now we're going to join a live server environment. The game won't look dramatically different in terms of the driving and the maps and all the other stuff. It'll still look like ghosts. Like, we're not going to start colliding with other racers. It's not that type of driving game. Um, but there will be chat, you know, because everyone is racing at the same time. And, and if you haven't played Trackmania before, how this works is... 
uh, on a server, it'll have a time, much like we did in, in that map review, where it's like, oh, here's you have seven minutes to get the best time possible. Like, we're going to be on this course for seven minutes, do your best. And then we're going to move on to the next track for another seven minutes, do your best. And, uh... Oh, God. Um... So now you're starting to see some of that, uh, some of that good Trackmania stuff. Some of these hot boxes around the edges with uh, various bits of information, like pe like people voting a track up or down, or the current local records, uh, or, or even just like uh, whether that's like live records for the current session or local records, meaning on this server, all the times this track has been run, these are the best times on this track. Um, and checkpoint times there across the top for like who has the best, uh, who has the best time from checkpoint one to checkpoint two, or, 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 or from or the best time to checkpoint one, the best time to checkpoint two, so on and so forth. Um, but the server's still just using the default music, you know. Ooh. It could it could be more. It should be. It should be more. Well, let's try and let's try and do this here. Oh, I don't know where I'm going, but not here. Um, and so you see, like, there's other, you know, there's there's other server mod options here that come up. Like, okay, let's pull up a list of every single map that is available on this server. And uh, and we can look at those. And in some cases, you can request which map comes up next or, or whatever. Um, you can... Uh, if, if people have put maps into the jukebox, meaning they've requested that they be played next, you can view what those requests are. You can start a vote to extend time or vote to skip the map. Um, you know, you can look at overall ranks on the server uh, across, you know, this is going to be across multiple maps, multiple sessions, stuff like that. Um, and so that's the stuff that Pi Planet has integrated uh, is, is that sort of that sort of stuff here. Uh, and, and as you see, you, you do get live chat as well. Um, I assume there's stuff in play where you can like vote skip map. Yep. Uh, yeah, all that stuff. Yeah, um, okay. And so there's a handful of different. Um, there's also Evo uh, or Evo SC as. Uh, and you see these player counts can get crazy, which oh, yeah. is which is pretty awesome. The idea of 200 people on a server just doing their thing. I think that's, I think that's rad. So I saw that Evo thrown around a lot. What is that exactly? Uh, it, it's the name of a, another, much like we were on a Pi Planet server before, this one is running Evo instead of Pi Planet, um, which then the game just minimized for some reason. And so you see it has s similar concepts here where, uh, oh God, um, my frame rate just went all to hell here. Oh, um, weird having all 200 of those ghosts maybe. Maybe, maybe. No, I think it's. I think it's from. I think it might be. Hang on. Just tab out and tab back in. No, it's still really frank. Uh, that's weird. But it, yeah, it, basically the game minimized for some reason, and then when I brought it back up, it the frame rate went bad. I don't know if it looks bad for you as it, as it does for me. Uh, it's a little stuttery. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a little stuttery for me too. Anyway. Um, we're really just kind of looking at like, okay, this this is a similar idea of the of the Pi Planet stuff, but you know we're seeing local records across sessions, um, you know same type deal of like show me all the maps, uh, and and so different mod makers are going to come up with prettier or prettier or less pretty ways to do some similar stuff. Like here's the jukebox, okay, this this one's been requested by the person who created it, huh, um, and so on and so forth, um, and so. I'm not sure what add remove does in this case, but I clicked add. I don't know. We can see the details. I don't know what that does either. So a lot of this stuff, a lot of this kind of map server software stuff is still kind of coming together and it's been a little touchy, a little flaky. Um, and so that was another server that only had the official music. And with any luck here, this server will be stable enough to give us what we've been missing. It's not. Oh. But this track just ended, so maybe next, maybe next, uh, 
maybe next next map will load up what we're looking for. We'll see. It bodes well. I like... I mean, you know, I have a very limited experience, but I really like the range of, like, map types where it's like, this is like a, a 25 second or like 15 second, you know, hit this, this, and this versus yeah. like, here's like a two minute. It's like, if you beat it once, you feel accomplished. And then like, go, you get maybe get like one more complete pass at it. Yeah. I, I like how varied you can get in there. Yeah. Well, it is not playing the music, unfortunately. And that's, uh, yeah, like I said, a lot of the stuff is, is still kind of coming together. Um, and so it, it can be a little flaky. Uh, but I but I have heard custom music on this server before. I know it can do it. I know it can be done. And so I'm confident that that will only become more robust as time goes on. And so it's kind of cool. Like, even when you're playing online here now, you get the your personal best. So I haven't finished this track in this session, so currently I have no time for this track. Um, but uh, but my ghost, ha you know, I've, I have played on this track before, so I still have a ghost for it. Um, which is kind of neat that it loads that in. And, uh, you know, you see over there on the left side that the the VIP or the... the that little clock is over there, so I can pull that out and, and load in more ghosts if I so choose okay. uh, as, as well. So even in an online environment, you can still do some of that stuff. And uh, I think that's a cool enhancement. That's a that's a that's a smart uh, thing. Oh geez. Well, we'll finish at least. Um. But 41 seconds is not going to cut it. And that's where it gets into just like, okay, we know we can finish this track, um, but now you start really trying to grind it out and and get better. I do like the ability to restart from a checkpoint. Yeah. If you want to like practice one specific part of the track over and over before taking a whole crack at the thing over again. It's been super useful, especially with some of these more complicated tracks where you're just not even sure where you're trying to go. <laughs> uh, if you can just get the lay of the land once and, and go like, okay, now now I got it. Uh, Alright, we moved up a spot. And you see here, you know, like I'm also getting the 100 and 139th place local record over here, the kind of um, more permanent uh, server-based ranking, whereas these are the, the rankings over here on the right side for the current session. Then that'll that'll match the leaderboard, the the official leaderboard here. And this is another, you know, the the Evo SC stuff has a lot of. Uh, you know, I'm I'm a, I'm a mod on the server, so I can kind of go in here and um, and make a few changes. Like I could just skip this map if I wanted to. Um, and, uh, and and so on and so forth. Uh, some of these server things also have the ability to just like add um, maps, which I don't know if this works. Uh, it was not working last time, but uh, the number here corresponds to um, track or trackmania.exchange. Uh, every map will have an ID there, and so you can you can add by number, which isn't something that. Oh yeah, it worked. Hey, it worked. Great. I hope that's the right map. That was one I was trying to add before. But I don't remember if um, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. That's that's cool that that worked. So like every every day, the the servers are, are getting a little more robust and and, and a little uh, less crashy, hopefully, um, with the, the custom music plugin and, and all that cool shit. Um, oh, the game minimized again. Why is it doing that? That's not good. So what do you want to see next for this game? Like, what 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 immediate steps do you think they need to take with it to kind of tighten it up a little bit? A full UI overhaul of the front end uh, of the the uh, server browser, like the w the way you navigate between different clubs, the way you navigate um, between different offline campaigns and that sort of stuff. I think is really 
like profoundly terrible. It is a it's a big step back from previous Trackmania um, in in that sense, and I think that they they need to do something about that. Like you can't even favorite the server per se, um, which you, you know is something you used to be able to do. Like if, oh if I like this server, I should be able to like go like oh I want to. I want to favorite this server so that it, in, in my server list it's it's always shown or something like that. And the best you can do with that is I could join the club that this server is attached to because all servers must be attached to clubs. But you can only join a club if you're paying for the most expensive version of the game. And so the idea of hiding some kind of like backdoor favoriting mechanic behind a paywall sucks. Yeah. Um, which again, you know, I'll say again, like I, I think the money they're charging for it is totally fine and appropriate, and I think uh, you know their plans to update it on a more regular basis and support the game um, and, and, and all that sort of stuff compared to how they have done it in the past, I think makes a lot of sense. But uh, I think some of the choices they made around what is gated at which different tier. Um, kind of aren't. It's not cool. Uh, it's not cool the way they've done it. And, and, and especially when some of those things are things that just kind of came with the territory with Trackmania before, like the ability to set a uh, skin for your car, the ability to, to favorite a server, um, that sort of stuff, I think, uh, is, is kind of wild. It's a little over the line uh, for, for my tastes. Um, but yeah, I think it really is like a big UI overhaul uh, for that front end to just make it easier to find what you're looking for. Um, and custom horn, custom horns, bring back custom horns. I mean, the, the framework is there, right? Yes, the framework is all there and I'm, I'm confident it will eventually have it. Someone is even in chat in on the server right now claiming that they have found a way to customize their horn, which I don't know how that works. Um, if there's some backdoor way to do it uh, that they have not included or something like that. But, um, yeah, people are saying you can have custom horns, which, okay, maybe there's a way in there now. Um, it's built into the skin file? Are you fucking kidding me? It's built into the skin file? That's a terrible way to do it. Because I want to use the skins I want to use but I want to have the horn I want to have. What? Oh, that's insane. If that's true, you got to add a horn dot wave to the zip containing the skin. Fuck. You got to add a horn dot wave. Got to add a horn dot wave. Well, you know, for me, I've got a soundboard here that I can just hit this button at any time. Okay, here we go. Oh, what? Oh. The song was loading and then the server crashed. So, like I said, the the custom server stuff has been a little delicate, uh, at least um, at least around these parts so far. <laughs> uh, so that stuff still has a little bit of a way to go. Horn dot wave in the skin file? Are you fucking kidding? Oh, I am so unhappy. <laughs> um. But there's a lot of different types of maps. Like I like the, um, I like short, uh, as they say, I like short tracks. You'll see more wrecks. Uh, I believe Toby Keith said that. Um, I like these L O L maps. L O L stands for lots of uh, lots of love. I think lots of laugh. Lots of lot lo love to love of laughing. Loads uh, of laps. Yep. Uh, load these loads of laps maps. Uh, and so, you know, you think about like Mario Maker and some of the ridiculous uh, levels that people have made there. Trollish maps, if you will. Uh, you see some of that in this game as well. And, uh, or, or in some cases, a lot of these, these shorter maps are just like built around one mechanic and really dialing in like, Okay, there's one turn in this map, and that's going to be the thing that separates the whole leaderboard, is how good were you at taking this one turn? I screwed up. No, maybe I didn't. You look fine. Oh, there you go. Um, 
this map's not that crazy, honestly. Um, but let's uh, let's see if we can find. There are a few servers running. Loads of laughing maps. Uh, so we'll just uh, see if we can search it out here. Oh, I mean, this one's got a lightning bolt that's trademarked. Uh, great. Let's see what we got here. Horn dot wave. So I can just, but I can just hit this button on my soundboard. I, uh, ben, I don't think you'll hear this, but. I can I can have whatever custom horns I want. Unfortunately, no one on the server will hear them. And making a skin is a is an insane. It's it's a it's a ridiculous. Uh, there are a lot of error messages that are not well explained anywhere. Like I I was getting an error message. I think I fixed it by. Maybe I had some special characters in my directory name, and that was not letting the, the skin upload to the club. These words just, these are all words I'm saying, but like as they're coming out of my mouth, I'm like, yeah, you know, you gotta upload the skin to the club. And it's just like. Yeah, I mean, I tried to make a skin and I still don't understand. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's a lot of nonsense. Uh, and, and that's another aspect of the game that honestly could and should be done way better. Um, so this is a really short map, right? You know, this is like, okay, it's got this weird skid up here uh, that we hit this little patch of ice so we get around. Uh, that's kind of a fun little skid. And then, oh, see, I'm already, I might, might as well not even keep going. If I'm not improving my time, then it's a waste of time. Damn. I know. That's a good, like, you know, old Trackmania coach teaching new Trackmania trainee how to play. Yeah. If you're not getting line. a nice time, you're getting a not nice time. You're not having a nice yeah. time. Uh, yeah. If you're not going fast, you're going slow. If you're not, if you're not going fast, you're coming in last. It should rhyme. If I feel like it should rhyme. The turns aren't tight. Your time won't be right. Yeah. This is easy. Yeah. Ah, ah. Yeah, hit the wall. If you hit the wall, your t score will fall. Thank you. This is inspirational. I'm, uh... I'm coming out with a uh, daily calendar that's going to have one of these quotes on them every day. Is it going to have, like, a, a picture of anything? Yeah, it's just going to be the the lewd car skin thrown over here. Oh, cool. All right. I'm mostly aiming for mechanics as my primary uh, purchaser. Smart. Mechanics love cars. They love cars and uh, lewd calendars. Yeah. I see I finished, but, like, it wasn't even as good as my best run. So, like, why even bother? There's no, like, most finishes. I gotta. What you gotta do is you gotta watch the ghosts. See who's getting better. Uh, and it shows your, you know, that number on the back of my car is the current uh, leaderboard ranking I have, um, uh, which is cool um, because it lets you know in real time that someone has has pulled ahead of you. But also, in some cases, it's hard sometimes to have time to look. Um, but you can eyeball a ghost and see if it's like, if it's number one, you know it's taken the turns properly. Hey, what is that? Half a second less than my than my last time. Why even, why even go on living if that's, if that's how it's gonna go? I'm just leaving the server all together. Yeah. Ugh, disgusting. And so that's how this game gets like from chill ass podcast game to oh god this is a nightmare real fast is this. Just like, 
motherfucker. God, how do I take this turn? Like when you're really drilled down trying to nail one specific turn, uh, especially on some of the harder tracks. Um, I'm just like, I'm spinning out just a little bit too much. That's not bad. I would have stuck with that and, and seen if I could have maybe caught up to my best in, you know, one of the later checkpoints or something, but... All right. Let's see what's next. That's, uh, that's pretty much Trackmania. Um... I feel like an expert now. Yeah. Honestly. It's it's good. Yeah, it's good. I'll co-sign that. Yeah, it's good. I'm I'm having a, a delightful time with it when I don't think about the UI or don't think about like the other aspects of like the game that make me just wonder like, man, how did how did it happen this way? <laughs> um. Here's a, yeah, these boosts. And, and that's where it gets back to the training stuff. I still don't know how a lot of these boosts work out. Uh, or these, these you know, the, the, the gliding car stuff is hard. Uh, or, the, like, I've seen tracks that kind of expect you to fly across, like, half a map or something. And I just have no idea how to make that happen. Ugh. Oh. Okay, I gotta keep going diagonally off the right side of that edge, it looks like. That's not gonna cut it. So, on a, tra on a track like this, the middle part raised up yeah. Um, is there any point in staying on that middle part? Yeah, well, is it, that the it, fastest route? It's going to depend on the track because some of those want you to stick to the inside because then it's kind of a curved surface that you're kind of able to, to whip around uh, a corner with. Oh, um, sure. So in, in this case, it might be fastest to be here to go around this this curve. But also, if, you, if you're not careful, you jump off the side like that. Oh, yeah. And so some map makers are doing things where they want you to jump off of the side of the road at a certain time to, to kind of get to another stretch of track. And they use those bumps to get you there. Okay. And it's like a, a cool use of, of that stuff. But like by being on the inside there, I can kind of take that turn a little bit tighter and a little bit faster. Ugh. Ah. And sometimes you get in, a, in a, a situation where you're like, I know my personal best is way better than this, but I couldn't tell you how I got there. <laughs> and so you just look I feel at, like that's true with any sort of run-based thing. Where yeah. It's like, I blacked out, and when I came to, I had a good score. Yeah, or like not even a good score, but like a better one than I'm getting now. But here, we did it. We We broke the curse. Uh, but it's still only good enough for 13th place. That's the other thing. People are fucking good at track mania. Yeah, that was a little discouraging for me hopping on to like, I hopped in the giant bomb server and just raced a little bit. And I'm like, I feel like I'm doing okay, but I am in the bottom like 10 every time. Yeah. And it's because, I, I mean, I feel like it's because these games, obviously there are subtle differences between each one, but if you've been playing track mania for 10 or whatever years you understand how to play track media. Exactly. You can yeah. pick up a new track media and still be good. Yeah, the the changes they've made here are like meaningful, um, but the core of track mania remains track mania. It, it's definitely um, not that different. Ugh. But you know, I will say, but, like they they unified they they have a unified platform now. The thing they did with track media two. Uh, was sell different environments. So you had Trackmania 2 Stadium, which became the de facto standard. 
And then you had Lagoon and Canyon and some of these other ones that would have like different physics and different styles of tracks. And, uh, you know, the other ones just never caught on the same way as Stadium. Um, but it's, but you still have this weird separated player base in some cases, and it just it just was a not not an optimal way to to get into track. It became a lot harder to tell someone like, here's the track mania you should get because you're like, all right, well, which one should I get? Is it stadium this that? And it's like, at the end of the day, just get stadium and don't worry about the rest. Um. Oh, here's the horn. The, the you hear that? That's the default horn. You can barely even hear it. This limp. Sounds like someone took a horn and stuffed it full of socks. It's disgusting. That's disgusting. Good. Um, all right, let's bump out of here. I think kind of the only thing left to show is maybe the map editor, which I'm not going to actually make a full map here, but you know, it's a um, it's a block-based editor. Uh, you can make custom blocks for it somewhere, somehow. I don't know how. Not using this editor, as I can under as I understand it. But uh, let's see. Uh, how do I make the camera move? I forgot. Oh gosh. Is it just okay? All right. Now we can drag the ground around and see this awesome track I made. This is Jeff. Yeah. I'm. On it. I don't know what to say. Words are escaping me. The It's got a beautiful... I really like what you're doing there. You've got like a beautiful curve and then a nice 90 degree top off there at the end. Oh my god. It's yeah. just inspirational. Well, let's... And, and let's check it out. Hey... Oh, it's backwards than what I thought it was. I thought you went the other way. This oh, changes everything. Oh, you blew it. I blew it. I mean, we finished, but it's not. Not good enough. Not good enough. Improve. And so this is also setting the author time. So I think uh, the medals uh, that people can earn on your track are built around how fast you can finish it. Okay. Uh, which is a kind of a cool concept. Nope. Boo! So this would be a good track for training, honestly. You know, like, hey, you need to know that you need to hit the brakes in the air to do this. Look at that. Boo! Yeah, that's better than, that's better. Your butt hit the, hit the bottom of the thingy. Well, yeah, I mean, it could be, it could still be better, I'm sure, but it was better than my previous author time. So I still got that going for it. Boo! Oh. Um, yeah, so you can, you can kind of go in and lay down a bunch of ice and so on. Uh, you know, your different, different course pieces and, and rotate them around and all that sort of shit. And that's pretty cool. Um, I have never been good with the track editor. Um, have you ever, has there ever been a game that you like really got into the level uh, other than like Mario Maker, where is the point? But like Tony Hawk skate parks, any of those like, uh, load runner, super old. Okay. Uh, yeah. Load runner. I made probably a hundred different bad load runner levels and, nice. and no one ever really, really played them, but me, <laughs> I didn't know anyone else that had Load Runner uh, or owned a computer, really. But uh, but yeah, I, I made a ton of Load Runner levels. Um, we can zoom in here. Um, you know, like you can make sunset, you can make different time of day type stuff. There's a, a lot of stuff like under the surface where like you can add weird intros that uh, move the camera and put text on the screen and all this other stuff that I honestly have no idea how any of that even happens. I don't know how any of it works. It's a it's a damn mystery. Um, but it's cool that all that is there and uh, I'm glad that people are out there making maps. Uh, and so that's Trackmania. 
And I think that's the end of the quick look, but at the same time, I'm probably going to play this for like another hour. So, Ben, you don't have to hang out if you don't want to. I'll let you go if you want, but I'm pretty much just going to play Trackmate. I got I I got to I got to wash my garbage cans. Okay. You uh you can wash your garbage cans. You fo you figure out where you're going to put your horn dot wave. Oh, in the in the skin, of course. Got it. Okay. I see. I now I just got to figure the perfect horn. I'm thinking like they already made a perfect horn and they included it with the game. It's horn C4 dot wave. That's all you need. All right, Ben. Have fun with your garbage cans. Mine are filthy as well. You saying that out loud makes me realize I don't know when I did that last. I've never, I've never cleaned one. I'm just gonna spray it with the hose, and we got an old broom and some soap, and I'm just gonna try and make it work. That that sounds smart. Ooh. A fan remake of Star Wars Metallica is running. This is very exciting. This is, this is, see, this is the track media experience. Yeah. It's beautiful. There's all those custom textures that you can have now. This is... This, okay, this is good. Yeah. I'm upgrading my good to great. Yeah. So that's the thing. Is when, when Trackmania is good, it's great. Oh, God. This... Oh. Okay. All right. Oh no! Oh no! Gets me every time. Oh. The Obi Wan action cam. It'll really fuck you up. I don't even know where I am anymore. Did I fall off the side? Oh man! I ah. Okay, I gotta restart. We got lost in the Obi Wan action cam. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. This is nice. Oh. Who do you think would win in a fight, Star Wars or Metallica? Ooh. Current day Metallica or Metallica in their prime? Let's say both in their prime. Star Wars in its prime, Metallica in its prime. Mm. Mm. Which probably around the same time, huh? Uh, or I guess Star Wars like the 70s. Or... Anyways... I'm going to go with uh, Star Wars because they have guns and lightsabers. This is... I don't know where I am again. This is... Okay, we outlasted the action cam. It's just its so fun just watching all the other cars like <laughs> run into the walls. And... Oh, man. I didn't realize the action cam would become so much more intense. Pod, now this is pod racing. Yeah. Oh my. Oh my. Yeah. All right. It's, you know, it's different in a few subtle ways to the original uh, Star Wars Metallica, but uh, I think I like it. I like these textures here. I think that's very custom. Very custom. I like when it says Metallica. Yeah, that's good. Okay, now, like, both current day Star Wars versus Metallica. Mm, I might have to give that one to Metallica. They've grown much wiser in their age, and they're not owned by Disney, which I feel like would restrict, like... You can't decapitate anyone when you're owned by Disney, right? It's right. Not, it's not the Wild West world of the prequels out there. Yeah. Um, but Metallica, you know, they never... Metallica never sold out. Um, <laughs> so uh -huh. I think uh, I think I have to give it to them. All right, fair enough. All right. Oh, 
God. Damn it. <laughs> okay. All right. We did much better that time. Shaving 20 seconds off our previous best. Seeing this and seeing, like, knowing that I would have no way of finding this on my own makes right. me bummed out about this game. Yeah. Like, yeah, finding, like, the good, finding the good track media <laughs> uh, is, uh, is hard sometimes. A lot of the time. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of... I, you're, you're right. Discoverability, uh, like, finding better ways to just... Um, to put different types of track mania in front of people. Like, just a way to be like, hey, here's the weird shit. Uh, and and I think some clubs will just be like, dedicated weird shit club. Yeah, uh, yeah, that stuff's certainly, yeah, you, you, could, you could definitely do that. You could be running a server that's all weird shit all the time. Um, this track in the previous track mania was fun. Uh, this track and, it, and its sequel, uh, and I understand a, a new, a third, uh, a, 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 a third Star Wars Metallica uh, is, is in the works. Uh, it's always fun when you see people who have no idea what the server like any of the history or they're just like track mania players that are just like man I wish there were better maps on the server and then they get to this one and they're like what the fuck is wrong with you people it's like everyone gets psyched it's like some Belgian team logs on for the first time exactly third eye opened to the real track mania Oh, see, I keep forgetting that that turn is a turn. Ugh. Oh, there's not enough time left to even do another lap. Which leads us to this. I also really like the bat. Yeah. This. This does not happen as much on servers that are not, not this server. <laughs> it's somewhat less frequent, which is weird because I feel like it used to happen all the time. And uh, I feel like this this server is the keeper of the real track media now. That's just, maybe that's just how it had to be. Everyone went eSports, but this server has always been eSports. My understanding is that a French track mania player kind of brought the game back. A streamer, uh, kind of a popular streamer, got into track mania, and that that has um, really led to the game seeing an uptick in popularity. Uh, I don't know too much about uh, too much about that, but uh, but that's my understanding. Sometimes you get the same song twice. You know, it's. Uh, Look, these are AUG files existing somewhere. Open source, compressed audio files existing somewhere on the internet. It's, you know... It wasn't built to do this, man. But yeah, I, I've been thinking about this more in the context of... And the server went down again. Perfect. <laughs> What a what a perfect cap to this. Yeah. Well, we saw what we needed to see, honestly. Uh, though some of these other maps, uh, Purple Gold and Missing Bits, the one that was going to load up, is actually pretty good, too. Um, well, let's see. What other servers uh, can we look at here? Or even other clubs. So, you know, like, you know, joining a club, we can see if uh, some of these other... Uh, clubs have a lot of a lot of servers are just running the summer campaign maps the official ones which like and eh, it's not I don't it's 
not why I'm here. Um, so there's, there's plenty of ways to play those. That's a server with some uploaded maps there. Okay. Is there any uploaded... Giant bomb leap, you say? Let's see. Let's see what the, gi the giant bomb leap is. I'm excited. All right, uh, this one is you carry from our lawyers. All right, well, right out the gate, I'm noticing there's no Obi Wan action cam, which is a little disappointing. Yeah. Uh, which, I don't know, yeah, is it like a, a leap in... Oh, jeez. Well, let's just see if we can get a time on it. Uh, okay. See, sometimes you got to look in the distance to follow the arrows and, and see, like, oh, that arrow is not lined up with this ramp, so we need to... Oh, come on. Breaks, breaks, breaks. All right. Well, that's not going to get the job done. Time for sure. Yay. And see, when I launch maps just from that menu, it doesn't actually give me any of the, of the leaderboard stuff. I'm not sure, um, like what cause. Maybe it has to be part of a campaign, or has to be like out there in a. In on a, either in a room, in a, in a multiplayer server, or in a, an offline campaign before it gets that stuff. I'm not sure. Or maybe just no other players have raced this track? I suppose that's possible. this thing. I try to get crafty by hitting the brakes in the air to even out but then I didn't have the speed to make this. That's a, okay. Oh. Am I not, am I doing something wrong? Okay, let's. Yes. Okay. I'm just gonna guess that you are. See, that's, yeah, all right. We're not going to touch any of the steering. We'll just get up here, and then, yeah, I don't have a lot of speed to make this. It looks like you're not having a land, a graceful landing after that. Yeah, but I'm not one. sure how I can get a more graceful one. Yeah. Uh, Maybe, Other than maybe you gotta I, land a little closer on this yeah, part. Yeah. Get a little bit more speed. letting off the gas instead of braking. Uh, Alright, that's... Try gas, brake, dip. Okay, gas, brake, dip. Dip. Dip, okay. I'm 
Mazel in the chat says, full speed, don't turn. I made this map. Okay. I mean, I can get up here, but I feel like I am clunking right there and not having any speed. Because I'm just full throttle here. And... Yeah. If I land that, if I land that smoothly. Okay. Nope. Not enough speed. Like I'm losing too much speed in the air. Cool. I like that hole in the loop that you go through. That's that's a cool idea. You got gold? I got gold. Weird. All I did there was hold down the gas uh, the same way I had been doing there for a while, and it just... I got a little bit more speed off of it. That's strange. Because all, that's all I was doing those other times, too, but I just still banging on the... Oh, ah, yeah, get... Uh, oh. Nope. Not even worth it. Hmm. And yet that time, it's weird how inconsistent that is. I don't know, like this game is usually pretty precise about that sort of stuff. slightly left right here before this first jump. Yeah. It's a slight a slight tap left, a slight tap right. And we're going. The lack of music it yeah. really adds to the intensity of this. Yeah, it's a, it's a real nail biter. Good lighting in this game. I like the like sunset yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. They they let you have some real dark uh, maps, and you know the the tracks will kind of glow in kind of a cool way. Um, and uh, yeah, that stuff's all pretty neat. Um, let's see if there's anything else in here that jumps out. I know some of these were not. I don't believe were made by people that are members of this club per se. Uh, just a collection of maps from around. Let's try... How many clubs do you need? Jeez, what are we even doing? Does this one have skins? No skins. Wait, did it have skins? The heart's filled in. Usually, no, maybe not. No maps. I'm just a... Just a room with the summer maps in it. Okay. Uh, actually, I meant to check and see if there were any skins here. Here's another thing that's kind of... Oh, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> uh, here's another thing that's kind of broken about this game. This skin doesn't load, and maybe if I let it sit here long enough, it will, but the actual thing to do is to just move off of the skin and move back, and oh. now it loads in. It's just broken. Cool. It's Or I guess you could do that, too, uh, and, and toggle back to it. A game tapes-themed car. 
That's, this is a nice look. I'm gonna, I'll, uh, I'll heart this one for later. All right, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. This is, okay. The site slogan right there on the front fender. I like that. Uh, disgusting. This is a filthy this car. They should ban them. Is there perverts? Can I can I hit a is there a button I can hit to ban this car? Or is that like to? Um, this is a nice look. I wish I could kind of pivot around the car a little bit better and get a closer look at these skins without, you know, getting them and loading them into the editor, I guess. That's pretty cool. And then, ah, yes, more filth. All right, uh, we're going to, I want to see if this works. I want to see if this works. I need to know if this works. Solo campaign. I have to hold the horn button down for it to play the whole thing. Oh god. It just keeps playing though. <laughs> this is really frustrating. Cuz I can't cuz my my horn button is clicking in the left stick, which is not a good way to drive a car. Uh like having to hold it in. Can you also bind it to gas? Uh, yeah, I guess I could. I wonder, hmm. I think you, I don't know if you can double bind a button. Uh, the pitch of the horn will probably change due to the, what is it, the Doppler effect? Is that what they call that? Yeah. The yeah. effect, as uh, scientists call it. Well, they need to fix that. I just want it to trigger the full sample when I tap the horn, like every other Trackmania game. I've seen people in chat say it doesn't even work uh, for other people to hear. Well, that sucks. Well, you know, that's one more thing that they just need to fix. Uh, you know, clearly they've got some ideas about how to put a custom horn in. Um, I don't think that's a great way to do it, personally. But, uh... Oh, now I'm seeing the person who made the skin say it does work. So, conflicting reports. Conflicting reports about the viability of, of horn transmission. Still honking. Still out there honking. Keep honking. I'm honking. Uh huh. If you're not honking, you're. Ch chonk? Chonk? If you're reading this, the honk fell off. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm glad we. I'm glad we ran that test. Uh, so you got a profile here also, where you can set your skins off the ones that you have favorited. Uh, it looks like I, th these don't seem to work, but it looks like there's in, in past games you have been able to replace the, the model completely as well. Yeah, the hitbox and physics and all that stuff remain the same, but it, there are, there are some hints of maybe model import for some skins uh, at some point. Um, these are just some skins that I decided to favorite and look at later. Cool. The, the Lex Express. 
I said the Lexus. There we go. Uh, um, I don't know what. Oh, okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a. The anime theme. Um, and then, is it, you know, if you like, if you like, looks really good on the tires. Stuff. Oh, I, I like, I like the other one because it's on the tires. You like on the tires? Yeah. Because you see it spinning around. It's like their faces are spinning around. Yeah, that's fun. Uh, no, that's. Yeah, you know, some nice looks. Um. But yeah, I wish it was just easier to sift through and find skins, honestly. And uh, making skins and getting custom stickers in uh, is kind of a hassle uh, as well. Uh, it's got trophies. You may have seen when I was playing in the uh, on the multiplayer servers. I was getting kind of one per completion. Or if I was winning, maybe you get like two or three or something like that. And then there's additional trophies for some of the other stuff. Like if you get like all golds on a campaign and I think it'll give you one of these and it's worth more points than this one and they just rebalance all the points today and it's all weird I'm in the top 200 in California before the game was out I was the number one in California out of like Whoa. six um yeah uh a little profile here so I don't, maybe they'll maybe they'll gussy up this page to let you customize horns or do something like that and eventually lift it out of the I, I don't know, if, or maybe they'll keep it tied to skins, which is kind of crazy. Um, but, you know, it's an option. Uh, so we always hop back on. Hop back on the, uh, the old unofficial classic. Let's see what else is happening for a little bit here and then I believe Alex is going to come up next and drum his face off hardcore I, uh, Philip Drummond might, might leave you to this last little bit okay get out there we'll, we'll clean them garbage cans yeah I gotta wash these stupid cans yeah clean cans clean cans and clean turns yep if you're not if you it's a clean can, not a clean can't. Okay, now I'm leaving. Okay, see ya. Alright. Oh God. Well, now I'm all practiced up. Somehow it did. That was weird. Like... Why the cars are flashing like that? Some weird texture thing. Oh damn it! Did not did not do it straight.
shit. Center of the ramp, straight on. Perfect. Come on. There we go. Good? Am I still good? Nope. Lost too much speed on that landing for some reason. I wonder if I should have... Uh... Tapped uh, to stop that spin. That would have been smarter. That would have been the way to go. So yeah, the way I'm hitting that intro is I'm like just slightly tapping left and then slightly tapping right before the... Oh, that's so terrible. So I'm like slightly tapping left here and then tapping right there to get just a cleaner landing there. I don't know what it is about that that causes that, but there you have it. Ugh. All right, not a clean landing there, but. Place 38, a full second faster. So I, that's sometimes you just look at this stuff and go like, I don't know where I would make up a full second on this track. And I guess you know that's it's a little bit here and there, right? I bet that part I could probably take cleaner, I'd bounce around like that. Probably losing too much speed there. Lost too much speed on that slide, that's for sure. Not even a waste of time at this point. What am I doing? I don't have the speed to catch myself. Waste of time. All right, got to get it in. Okay. If I have a good run here. I might be able to get it in before. Uh, but I didn't tap left at the start, and so I screwed that up. And now here we are. Wait, what? Is that what those dirtbags are doing? They're just skipping the ramp completely? 
That's why it's, it's good to have ghosts. You see that stuff and think like, oh, well, maybe I need to try that. Maybe that's maybe that's where the speed is uh, is coming in. You hit that checkpoint and then cut a hard left around the corner. And, or is the checkpoint past that? Oh, whatever. I had to look. Uh, speaking of looking, I'm going to look at my phone and break it. There we go. The iOS 14 public beta came out today, so let's get that installing. Nothing says stuck at home boredom quite like beta firmware for your phone. <laughs> and the server seems to have kicked me out again. Did I ever look into one of those ODEs for the Saturn? I would like to get a, a, a what a, a satiator when those come out, the things that just uh, you can just ram in the MPEG port um, if that ever comes out for reals. Um, mode for the one that works on Saturn and Dreamcast that uh, is, is pretty new here is pretty cool from the looks of it. Um, oops, oops. Yeah, the server just vanished. Um, I thought about getting a mode. Um, but you know, honestly, um, personal computers run Saturn and uh, Dreamcast games pretty pretty well these days server updating now okay good to know yeah it's fast and furious these early days of of trackmania dedicated server stuff so uh you know i'm not yeah you know, i'm not surprised he has a lot of updates i'm sure you're doing a fantastic job keeping it up and running uh let's see what else we got here oh i can't look at my phone to see what time it is anymore that's a problem oh right this thing has the time built in Okay. Another 12 minutes or so, and then we'll uh, we'll pass it off. Try some short tech tracks. Tech is usually a code in Trackmania speak for you will occasionally have to hit the bricks. How much would I pay for a Trackmania expansion for Minecraft? I'm trying to think about what that would even be. I mean, if it just, here's a track mania that looks like Minecraft. That could be all right, but.
I, I should see if the... So there's a weird... There's a... Um... Is this still up? Does this server still exist? Okay. Check this shit out. Okay, so this is if if uh, if you find a Ubisoft run server that is not currently doesn't currently have anyone playing on it, it'll spin the server up for you. So you click the button and um it'll Oh man. And theoretically spin it up, but let's uh okay, let's Try one of these. This shit is weird. Oh, I these I hope this I hope this loads, because this is What the fuck? Oh. This game launched pretty rough. This game launched pretty rough. I bet this won't work either, will it? This one's just erroring out, like, minute one. All right. Uh, well, is there a solo campaign with those maps in them? Because then I don't need to... Okay. Well, we'll see. that jump. All right. All right. Jump up over here. Strafe over here. If I hold down the space bar, I'll run. We can do better than that. So it has like first person shooter controls like WASD. Mania Planet lives on. It's uh, number one in North America, baby. Thank you. Um, it's... Uh, oh, I guess the ghosts are just shadows. They don't even show... <laughs> That's even weirder. It just shows you shadows of ghosts. That's great. Ah. All right, got to find a way to take that jump clean. This one, okay. Oh, that's my phone rebooting, huh. All right. Looks like we got some players on this one now. Maybe we can get in. So, who knows what this thing will be capable of, right? It, it, it's. I started digging through the directory that the game gets installed into uh, and um, found a lot of old Trackmania looking lingo and stuff there. Um, that makes me think that, well, you know, of course, like every developer builds on their last game, right? But it seems like a lot of that stuff is still here. <laughs> oh, geez. Um, and it goes beyond just like the menus at launch seeming um... All right, this is the one of these I've played before, and it's hard. But now that I realize I can hold the space bar and run, uh, I think I know how to do this part that I was at. Oh, jeez! Oh, well. 
And also, sometimes it just starts you with whatever way you were facing before. It's... No, no, no! Too much momentum. Make that jump. And so I don't know if this will go anywhere. Like, will people expand on this nonsense? Oh, man. I was making that jump pretty consistently last time I played this map, uh, but could not finish the map. Get a running start. Come on, get there. Nope. I don't know how to. That's the jump I could never make. Ah, oh, shit. here and uh, and uh, and then we'll wrap it up here in a little bit I'm gonna go move some, move some baby chairs around stuff like that uh, so everybody have a good rest of your day and uh, someday my phone will finish installing firmware and that'll be exciting it'll probably overheat burst into flames um, and yeah I think Trackmania is awesome. I think it needs a lot of work, uh, and and hopefully they do that. We're we're all pretty unhappy about it. Uh, have a good Thursday. Be back tomorrow with uh, you know Hotspot and uh, Minecraft and all that good stuff. Alex is up next with some drumming. Stay tuned. See you soon.